Jason, obviously we're here amongst your red ring onions. You've had our ex experience with our fumigants. Uh, we started out with an onion trial and you found that we increased area in t and certainly the, um, the growth side of things. Mm -hmm. What's your sort of impressions of how the fumigants behaved? Yeah, well, we did a trial where we did half and half a pivot. Um, what we found initially was we probably gained a couple of weeks. They were a bit, they were um, two weeks earlier to maturity. My initial concerns was it was obviously the cost, and you think, well, we're going to be able to recoup this cost out of our out of the crop. Yes, obviously the numbers that you quote, and you think, oh, well, that's we're going to need a fair bit to to get that back. Um, and we, we, in my head, I thought we needed about an extra 150 bins off that patch to get it off the. 10 hectares I think we 10 did. 10 hectares we did. Um, we ended up getting about 200, so it okay. covered it plus plus yeah. more. Um, primarily we were chasing pink root was our, is our issue with our red wing yep. onions. So um, the two crops they started off pretty pretty similar, but yeah, obviously got away, grew a lot better all the way through. Yep. Like I said finished off better, but it was what we found was the size at the end, wasn't it? Um, the stuff that was unfumigated, the pink root come in late. Yep. The numbers were there, but they just didn't fill out. So getting the extra tonnage was just the fact that we could fill them out from a 55 mil onion to a 75 mil onion, and it made a hell of a difference. We didn't have a huge disease impact that year, um, but just the fact that you got a healthy crop. I mean, it was one of those crops where you're not you're not chasing all the way through either. Like it, it was it was growing well all the way through, so you're not. You don't feel like you're behind at any stage, okay. so you could let them die off. I mean, so the storage of them was was fine. I yeah. mean, there was no no difference between that and probably the other stuff, other than the fact you know they had probably better skins, better size, a little bit um, paler than the unfumigated, just for the fact that they were growing so strong. Yeah. But on the flip side of that, we didn't want to push them too hard, too hard. and and yeah. blow them up. So there would be a bit of bit of playing around there, um, but. Yeah, they were just a healthier, a healthier yeah. onion. So it wasn't that we needed to probably give them more fertilizer, but you just felt like because they were growing so strong, are they using it a bit quicker? Quick. So for us, maybe you might give them a little bit more, more often than yep. you know. You might not spread it out as much. You might feed them a little bit just to keep them, yeah. keep them more. So it'd be a bit few management tools that way. But yeah. um, they were certainly, certainly stronger looking than. Primarily chasing pink root, but the variety we grow, pink root is a is a real yep. real issue. So that's what we were targeting, um, yep. and that obviously we we took that out. Yep. Um, so you probably need to know what you what you're trying to accomplish, I suppose, at the end. What what what's holding your crop back? I yep. guess um, we found the crops cleaner because it takes out some weeds yep. early. So and I said the the onions got away quicker. So it was a benefit there. Like usually, getting our reds to start and get up and going can be a problem. Yeah. Then you're already on top of you know because then they can get up mm. more and combat the weeds and yeah. even even root disease were found if you know, if you got a bit of rhizo in there if they're strong they'll outgrow it yeah. and be okay. But if they're set back, then it can be yeah. be an issue. So we didn't have those those issues. Okay. So. Um, so it was interesting from that point of view. We found that going into older ground, that's that, that that's where our, our issues is. Going into virgin ground, we've not so we, much. Not so issue. much because yeah. we don't have those disease pressures there already. Some of these PT tests you get back and numbers are through the roof, and, and you think, well, why why is that? And then others, you know, yeah. we've found in the past numbers can be high, but you don't have an issue. But yeah. You know, that can be environmental factors too. Like some years you might not have a problem, and others yeah. you might. So yeah, so we've tested all our stuff. So it's certainly, it's it's nice to know those things going in. Like yeah. if we go into a paddock and we know that the numbers are high in pink root, yeah. you know, you know that it's it could be an issue. So you can assess you, your risk. Yeah, yeah. 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 So then it's a, a choice as to whether you you, you think it's going to be an issue or, or yeah. not. I think the best result from memory was where we just followed in on the onion fumigant, yeah, we, yeah, it, uh, the double fumigant we didn't, well, there was, wasn't a significant difference mm -hmm. between that and where yep. where we just followed it straight in. So, and this was, 
what we do, the onions, so that was pre-fumigated in like July, yeah. harvested in March, and then we went back in basically the following July, I think. So yeah. it had been fumigated within the 12 months. 12 months, yeah. Um, One of the things, the aim of the, the exercise was to see, to amortise the cost across two crops, mm. um, and to see was there a net benefit when you fumigate with onions, uh, you end up with a, a high yield like mm. we found mm. and then can we get a, a, a secondary benefit from the residual fumigation effect. You know, if you've got the fumigated ground there, I mean you'd be crazy not to yeah. to have another crack, crack at, it, yeah. at it because you know that those it's it's it reduced I mean we did the mm. did the soil testing. I mean it does reduce your, your I mean you saw the numbers go down. down. So yeah. um, you know it can be one of those things where in that crop of spuds mm. it might not have been the seasonal thing to yep. have a real issue. I mean, pink root we know is going to be a problem. Yep. And we know it takes that out. So yep. going forward, I think we'll we'll probably fumigate our old ground yes. anyway. Yep. Um, yep. Because the, the benefit of it was far outweighs. Just, yeah. Yep. We are using new tools and we're using the SARDI DNA tools to work out what's our risk profiles. But also too, I think from this trial, um, both for the onions and potatoes, we're trying to get economic thresholds mm. of what the damage levels are. But at the end of the day, uh, for a grower, um, profit is everything mm. uh, because that's why, you're in, that's why you're in the game. Um, but it's very much about how can we minimise your input costs. Yeah. And if we can use all of our tools at our disposal to allow you to do that, while still using these tools strategically, um, it's very much about prescription fumigation, not just general fumigation, mm. Mm. and allowing you to make that decision as to when you want it and when you have to use it. Yeah. Uh, it's not an everyday tool that you reach for, um, and that's really where we're, if we can get a risk minimisation program for you to say, here's the triggers, this is what you're looking for, mm. then that's really the key. Mm. So. Mm. Yeah, well we need quality out the other end. Absolutely. So if we've got a clean crop, yep. that's how we achieve that. So yeah. because yeah, I mean, if you've got disease in there and, and things aren't quite yeah. quite good, I mean, you just, they're just not worth anything. Yeah. Then. When you get to the other end mm. of having the crop and you've sold it, is that a net benefit for you? Did you oh, see, did absolutely. you see it? A... Absolutely. Well, that's what I said. Where we got 200 extra extra bins off that yep. side. Well, I mean, that pays for it plus a bit more, doesn't it? Yes. So, yeah. um, and if it's and if your quality's up as well, yeah. Well, if the crop looks healthier, yeah. it's always, you know, the, then it makes your job a lot, a lot yes. easier. Yeah. Um, if you've got a crop that isn't quite where you'd like it to be or struggling, well then, you know, you just feel like you're, you're chasing at the whole crop. Whereas, yeah, the, the onions that we fumigated, you know, you go there every day, they look, they look really good. Yep. You know, they, so you didn't have to, yeah, there was no, no, stresses. no stresses at all. I didn't have too many issues. I mean, it was all pretty, pretty straightforward process. Okay.